everybody and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 22 Punishment Career Mode. Or the Newcastle Career Mode, as I have dubbed it. Realistic? It certainly is. Last time out though, we did actually manage to get some draws, so I'm feeling relatively confident. A few people have said to knock it down to world class. My ego can't take it. So what I've decided to do is if we do not beat Brentford in today's game, then yes, I will knock it down to world class for the second game of the episode. Which is going to be da, 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 Brighton. Oh, I don't have a very good record against Brighton. I might only play the two games today because it is a very... Well, the two big fixtures. It depends on obviously how much action there is. We are running out of time. We've got 12 games left. It's a four-horse race at the moment. I have to try and beat Brighton to bring them back into the fold. Because at the moment you can tell here they are a full 10 points ahead of me. And that's relying on the fact that I win a load of games. You've got Villa and Leeds. They're not totally out of it. Palace aren't totally out of it. I think everyone from Southampton downwards is still around about there. But it's going to take a bit of work to bring them back in. So we need to start picking up points. And by that I mean three points ASAP. So we are going to start off with the game against Brentford. It is a huge six-pointer at the bottom of the league. I'm going to go with the same team that played pretty well in the last episode on Legendary Mode. But one thing I am going to do, and this is probably why it's going to be a shorter episode, is that I am going to bump up the time from 4 minutes to 5. This means that it's going to give me a little bit more time to actually play the game at a kind of suitable pace for me. And hopefully will result in a few more highlights and a few better results. We will see. I'm not listening to stuff there. I've got a little bit of an ear infection going on, so the last thing I really need is something blaring in my ear at the moment. This is such a big game. It's such a huge game for us in the context of our season. I'll run you through the lineup in a minute. I'm relying on those two today. Wilson and Morales are so going to need to really get their act together and start hitting some goals in for me. I've not got a particularly good record against Brentford on FIFA either, so this is going to be fun. So I feel like then Henderson, Phillips, and Sels Milenkovic. So Maximin, Zachariah, Van der Beek, McNeil, Ali, Wilson, Morelos. Pretty much as full strength as you can get. We need a team huddle. Let's do this. It's going to be interesting to see if how I contend with them here. Obviously they've got Ivan Tony, who is a player I was looking at bringing back to Newcastle earlier on in the career mode at the start of the year. Or at the start of the January transfer window. But I didn't feel like the firepower was much of a problem. It certainly is. As Ivan Tony gets on the ball, he... It's literally just impossible. Man. It's just impossible to stop. I make a really good block here in that Phillips. It's a great block. Where's it for? It's Ivan Tony. He tees it back. There's always just someone there. Thiago Thomas gets his first goal in four games. So it's his first goal for the club, of course it is. Starters means to go on, boys. I mean, I didn't even touch the ball before they'd scored. Honestly, what is the point in Dwight McNeil? He is just... He's so good in real life. Why is he so bad in this game? I've jumped in there. I didn't need to. They're just about to walk it into there, aren't they? Great tackle there by Jamal Sells. Could be a goal-saving tackle. Some maximum on the ball. Plays it into Ali. Great first touch by Delhi. Delhi to Morelos. I dare not. Oh, good ball there by Morelos. Finds Wilson. He finds Allen. Ali, oh, it's come off the defender's backside and rolled to the goalkeeper. Do me a favour. Maybe McNeil isn't the problem. Maybe it's just me. Think I know what will happen. I'll play on world class. I'll probably win. And then we'll probably end up being safe. And I'll be like, oh, you did it. And I'll be like, yeah, but it wasn't a challenge when it's on world class. But legendary just seems too hard. But it's like we're on slow. Do you know what I mean? It's like we're on rewind. I know a lot of you won't remember VCRs and stuff. But it literally feels like we're playing like... In rewind mode as Ivan Tony makes it 2-0. What's the point? When I said about making the games last longer, it's actually just making the punishment last longer, if I'm honest. It's just... I don't even know where to start. Good tee there to Zachariah. Zachariah hits it. And it's... Even Morales can't tap it in. Is it a corner? Of course it's not. Obviously it's not. Zachariah. He squares it back to Donny. Donny to Deli Alley. <laughs> what a save. What a save. What a load of shh. What a save that is. We're really beginning to open them up now, but it's all. Alfredo Morales. I've made some shocking signings in this game. Alfredo Morales and Dwight McNeil. I don't know what possessed me to think that they would be able to compete at this level. Morales is on it. Tees it back. Donny. Wilson. 
Don't see my defenders making a last minute block, do you? Of course not. Cam's angry, I'm angry. Ali whips it in. Not in a million years is it going to any one of my players, because why would it? And ref players up there in a decent position to attack as well. Cheers, mate. Bring on Brighton. That's what I say. This game is done. There's, I can't even get... I've only scored one goal per game what, since I moved down to Legendary. So we're going to lose this. It's just infuriating. Donny. That's a good effort. I mean, this is the point. I can't get in behind. Ali. That's a decent ball. Donny van der Beek. Any more men you want to pack in there, mate? No? Any more? Right. That's coming up. He's coming off. Our frame rate is just He's not playing again this season. Just had enough of him. Just get out of my face. I don't even need to tell you who gave the ball away there. I bet you can have a guess at who it was. Yeah, that's right. It was Alfredo Morelos. He is never playing again. I am going to sell him so quickly. It's unreal. He's, we've been so good in the middle of the park. So combative. Literally two nonsense goals, as always. have just done me out of a result. It... Oh look, oh my god, I won the ball back. Oh no, I'm giving it to Morelos. Good touch. Deli Alley. Use your left foot. I'm really trying not to get angry because it's late night. And I'm really trying not to lose my time. I'm trying not to cry at the moment. This is so frustrating. I've had chances galore. And my... I just... I mean, I don't even need to tell you how no how nonsense that is. I've had shots from much better angle than that. Goal, he's got to every single one of them. He has one shot from a ridiculous angle, goes in. Even though Dean Henderson is a really, really good goalkeeper. And I would hate, hesitant to say, probably a bit better than Alvaro, but don't you worry about it. I bet you the funny thing is, I'll win one or two games or so, like confidence and form will be up. And then suddenly I'll probably be able to win on Legendary, and that's what winds me up. I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you. Fucker. I'll love. I'm gonna try and put every single chance in the edit, and you can probably see that this game should have finished, maybe four-one, probably to us, not to them. So just a joke. Wait for it. Wait for it. Cut back. I'm literally in the sit. The, he's in the look. You, you're back. Like right, yeah, it's good defending. Don't dive in. He, my defender just follows him across. I can't do anything about that if the defender just follows him across. If Milenkovic just wanders across and the guy's just free, in the, what am I meant to do? What? How do you stop it? You can't. And tactics don't play a damn part in it. It's 5-0. 5-0 to Brentford. It's a joke. That is an absolute joke. Look. Eight shots set to seven. And they scored five. Five. I scored none. Oh good. I love it when it's a different type of press conference. I've had some pretty embarrassing moments on this channel with my... With me not being very good at games. That one might be the worst. I think that one genuinely is the worst I've ever had. That that was horrible. In every respect, that was horrible. God, that unsubscribe button's looking very tempting for all of you now, isn't it? Or are you all just suckers for punishment? I think it's the morale. I think the morale is the problem because... Once you start winning, or once you win one game, it suddenly then becomes less of an issue. I'm four points off safety now. So, I've rung the changes. Um, Henderson, the back three, stay the same. Sessegnon's come in at left back, or left winger, to play today. Uh, Van der Beek is going to be joined by Joe Willock, because Zachary needs a rest. Aronson Maximum's going to be on the right-hand side. Deli Alley is still in support of Lingard and Wilson, because I actually think Alley played relatively well um, in that last game. Uh, just who, who knows what we're going to get today right well we've got to do well forget trying to drag Brighton into the into the relegation scrap we just need to win some games and sort ourselves out this feels like the start of New Dawn if we can't win now we might as well get ready for the championship next year so come on boys we can do this I know we can I've not really got a lot of options here Donny finds Joe Willock oh nearly good effort from Joe a much better start. Finally, an interception. A little bit of pressing is good. Willock. 
to Donny van der Beek. Donny! Crutch in, there's one. I turn out world class and now I'm absolutely pasting it. It's just. <laughs> where's the level in between? Brilliant from Donny. Absolutely hammers that into the top corner. Brilliant finish. It's his third goal for the club. I need more than that, mate, but it's a start. Now, can we hold on to a bloody clean sheet? Yeah, all that goal came from a little bit of pressing from Callum Wilson. Just came from a little bit of pressing up front. Good bit of reading of the game. A little bit of luck. That's offside. Thank you. It also helps that we don't have Alfredo Morelos playing. Willock, good ball. Good ball there into Anson Maximan. So Maximan, he went for the near post cracker. And it's a good save by Sanchez. Ali whips the ball in. Jamal the cells. Falls to Donny. Oh, it's a great header by Van der Beek. Thank God he's having a good game. Oh, great touch there by Trossard. He's absolutely schooled me. This is, oh, what an interception that was. What an interception that was there by... Who was that? Was that Milenkovic? I think it was Nat Phillips, actually. What an interception by the Preston Maldini. Lovely take there. Ali finds... Oh, Callum, he waits. He's waiting. He's released him. Alan Maxman. Burns never going to catch him. He's squ I thought he was going to square it back, and he just didn't. It took too long. I took too long with it. So, Maxman. Oh, what a goal. <laughs> what a finish. By Alan Maxman. Maybe it's worth me taking a few more pops. I tried to in the Brentford game. Just tried to take a few more from distance. That one is definitely one for the uh, for the catalogue. What a shot. Well done, Alan. Good to see him on the score sheet. I love it when a crack comes down off the bar. This is the best feeling. 2-0. Much more like it. Well class. Too easy. Legendary. Impossible. What I'm probably going to do is if I win a few games, I'll probably then put it up to legendary just because I think the morale will be a bit higher and then obviously the players will be playing properly. And then we can see really what I'm made of, if that makes any sense. But a really, really good half. A much more improved first half. Are we on course for our first three points under my tenure since I've been playing? Hopefully. Hopefully. This is the problem I've got, though. I mean, look how dominant it is when I turn it down to world class. Absolutely, spa absolutely smashing them. Like, literally absolutely battering them. Uh-oh. Oh, at the bar, a little bit of luck. See, now, if that's legendary, that's in. It's a little bit of luck. I just wanted to find the happy medium, because that should be a goal. Do you know what I mean? I don't want it to be a little bit of luck that stops it. This is going to be a great goal if we score it. Lingard plays it. Back to Lingard. Oh, just use your right foot, mate. Let it run across you and then smack it. A little bit more, um, a little bit more ropey at the back. Oh, what a save by Dean Henderson. I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. Brighton really coming back into it now. What a ball. Donny Van der Beek for free. Brilliant save by Sanchez. I just tried to bend it into that far corner. Maybe I should have just drilled it. I mean, this feels like sort of nice, I suppose, in the sense that maybe this is a bit more... I thought I was going to run away with it, but actually, maybe world class at the moment is the sort of level with these Newcastle players that I should be at. I'm not 100% sure, but either way... A 2-0 win, a clean sheet, and more importantly, three points. Mark Gillespie's been sold as well, which is good news. You know what? Go on then, because I think this is going to be good for me, is let's have a look at what we play like when we play Chelsea. We get over a week's worth of rest. I just want to see what it's like when we play Chelsea on World Class. I just want to see how tough it's going to be. So with the lineup, then, only one change, and that is that Zachariah comes back in for Joe Willock. It's a game for a guy that really, I, I just need him to have a big game in terms of that midfield. I'm going to need legs. We're going to need to try and get in and around Chelsea a lot. Let's just see how we get on. I don't expect us to win, but on world class, I'm not so sure. I can't believe Christian Pulisic has scored four in three games. Is it because he's an EA ambassador? Whatever it is, a FIFA ambassador? Right, final game of the day then. Away at Stamford Bridge. I'm. I don't know if I'm confident. I'm just interested to see what the gameplay is going to be like then when it's sort of like um, when it's a big team but on world class. I want to see if we get really, really outplay or if we literally batter them. That's a nearly. Oh, it's a brilliant bit of play by Anson Maxman. He's here up against Rudiger. He's got Wilson in support. 
he just goes against Rudiger. Mm, I might have made the wrong choice there. I could have played it in a bit earlier to Callum, but we got ourselves a corner. I'm going to get Lingard to take this. Lingard whips it in. Donny! Oh, what a header by Donny van der Beek. This is what I mean. I mean, I could be doing myself a bit of a disservice here, but Donny van der Beek winning header against Chelsea from the corner. Really? I mean, to be fair, actually, he is up against... Is that Mason Mount? He is up against Mason Mount, so he's not the tallest squad in the world as Mason, so maybe. But Dolly van der Beek's hot streak continues, and by that I mean he's got two goals in two games. I'm feeling relatively comfortable at one there at the moment, if I'm honest. I really don't like Virginia, so I've really enjoyed that. <laughs> We've rolled the ball back here. The pressing is so much better. I feel like I've just got time to pick my press a bit better now. Ali, good ball. That is Ryan Sessegnon. He tees it back. Lingard. I mean, Deli Ali could not. He, he just couldn't do anything right if he tried. When it comes to actually putting the ball in the back of the net. Apparently it's a slow day at the office for Christian Pugh. It's only been 36 minutes. Give the lad a chance. Ali's doing brilliant, he's actually. I've got to say, for all the facts I'm knocking him going forward, I've got to say defensively, he's been absolutely brilliant. He's really kind of come back and done a lot of the, the difficult, dirty work. Oh, good save again by Henderson. But Rombo Lukaku is there. They deserve it. 1-1. One, one. Bit of a lucky bounce, but on the balance of play, they probably deserved it. It's a good finish on his right foot. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Fair enough. I do feel a bit better now. I hate saying that because it'd be like, how could I feel good about drawing? But it feels real. Do you know what I mean? And maybe this is the level because I am. I do feel like I can at least compete. Whereas in the other games, I was that you just like, well, what's the scoreline going to be by the end of this? They've taken Mason Mount off, which makes me feel a little bit better. But they brought Hakim Ziyech, so. Not sure really why Tuchel was complaining about his squad depth when you look at it like that. Counter again. This time we've got a lot more men. If I pick the right ball, Callum Wilson against Rudy Arruga is good. It's pretty quick. But Callum Wilson, he's missed. It's a great bit of goalkeeping. It's a brilliant bit of defending as well by Rudy. I thought I had the pace, but he's so quick and so physical. He manages to get back against Cam Wilson, who's no slouch himself. That was a moment there. The only chances we've had have been on the counter-attack, to be fair, and from set pieces. We've not really created much from open play. Romelu Lukaku, what a save by Dean Henderson that is. That is an unbelievable save. <laughs> well then, Dino, carry on, mate. For everything really, really good that Lingard brings, I've not. he's not played one really good final third pass for me yet. Like, been a bit creative, do you know what I mean? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Pew the search, it's 2 1. Ah, oh, dived in. Stupidly. It's 2 1, Chelsea. I mean, this may be. Yeah, world class is the level then. It feels like this is the level. Great play by Romelu. It's just way too much of a gap. And I try and get in the right way there, Milenkovic. He tries to stand them up. Too little, too late. Here we go. 90 minutes up. We get one more chance. Four. Wilson, no, we couldn't, could we? Callum, no, we can't. <gasps> Maybe we can. Alan, that's a foul. Of course not. It's at Stamford Bridge. You're never going to get a foul at Stamford Bridge. Two on to Chelsea. The revival is halted after one game. <laughs> I hate saying it because it feels like a little bit of a. I'm not used to it. I'm used to playing it. Legendary and ultimate. I am not used to playing at world class, but it does feel like this is the level because we played a really good team and we lost. So, either way, though, two really, so really um, sort of confident, yeah, confidence building performances, I think it's safe to say. You've got nine games to go. It, I think it's going to be between those four. It's going to be between, well, maybe those three. I think you can probably write Brentford out of it now, but I think it's going to be between us, Watford, and Norwich. Now we're at that level. I do think we're going to be okay. But we have got some pretty difficult fixtures coming up. Some big ones though. Crystal Palace at home is winnable. Spurs away will be tough. Then Wolves at home, winnable. Leicester at home, winnable. That's a huge game against Norwich. Then we host Liverpool. Go away to Manchester City. Host Arsenal. And the end of the season is away to Burnley. So we got to get a lot of points in the next four or five games. 
I would hazard a guess to say. We have to get a lot of points out of the next four or five games. Otherwise, we are in for a very, very nervy finish. And that all starts then with Pass at Home in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Thank you, everyone, for watching the series so far. It's really gone down well. I've got loads of people in the community obviously getting involved in the comment section. Please make sure that you continue to get involved in the comment section. Um, just thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for all the likes. Please continue to leave them. Share, subscribe, tell your mates about it. Get people involved. The more, you know, it, I, it will get even more difficult. The idea is that I want this to be a long-term save. I don't want it to be a, oh, we have one season struggling and then we go on and win it next year. Don't want that next year. It'll be, oh, let's get a mid-table finish. Let's do this, let's do that. I want this to be a long-term, realistic, a bit like a football manager save, but with FIFA and actual gameplay, which people seem to really enjoy. And I'm really enjoying it. So I hope, hopefully, then <laughs> that I'll survive this year let's hope anyway thank you so much for watching everyone please move to like share, and subscribe until i see you again for another episode of my fifa 22 punishment slash realistic career mode take care of yourselves everyone and stay cool i'm not going to forget the embarrassment of brentford anytime soon bye